Hello, this is a little exercise here for you, just to help sort of stretch out your left hand for those of you who uh, um, kind of clump your hands together a little bit. I mean, uh, I, I had a few lessons um, in the past where I've uh, talked about one finger per fret. Um, this one sort of doesn't really apply to that, but it will help stretch out your hands. Um, it's a, a little exercise using ninths or add ninths actually to uh, um, to power chords. So that's your root, your fifth, and then a ninth. So as you can see there, we're on the 12th fret, and then the 14th fret, and then the 16th fret, respectively. So that's 12th fret of the A string, and the 14th fret of the D string, and the 16th fret of the G string. For some of those who are new to bass, uh, for some of you who um, have smaller hands, uh, I must admit I do have quite large hands, um, so this is quite easy, an easy stretch for me. Um, but I mean, I would say that even if you have quite small hands, this it's still doable. It's not impossible um, to achieve. So basically, we've got um, an A add nine there very nicely and all you need to do is move that shape down so I've got a little exercise here I'm starting on the A and then moving down to the F sharp which is the ninth fret of the A string so that's 9 11 13 and then down to the E now some of you may find this quite difficult if it is too difficult please Again, if it really, really hurts, please stop. Don't injure yourself. Um, take a break. Come back to it, um, and uh, and try again once your hands have uh, cooled down. So we have A, F sharp, and then E. So E is uh, seventh fret, ninth fret, and eleventh fret. Okay, uh, and what we can do is we can sort of uh, start off slowly like that, and all I'm doing with the right hand here is um, finger one, finger two, and finger three, so that's A, D, G strings, okay? Um, so A, slide down to F sharp, and then E, okay? Now, um, once you press down, you should feel a, uh, a very, very uh, feel the stretch and feel the uh, feel the burn in your uh, in your tendons. Um, but uh, yeah, please practice this slowly and uh, don't don't overdo things. Don't stretch further than your hands need. Uh, you you feel your hands can stretch. For example, um, I'm not going to show off here. I'm doing this purely for demonstration purposes here. The furthest I can stretch physically is from the 12th fret to the 18th fret, and that's a hell of a stretch for me. Um, for those of you with small hands, you might manage the 16th fret, which is this exercise here. Um, but yeah, like I say, if you can't manage this, don't worry, it doesn't mean you're a bad player. Um, People with larger hands, smaller hands can do other things, so uh, so don't worry about that. Okay, so let's go over this exercise again on the A, down to the F sharp, and then down to the E. And now what we can do after that is we can speed things up a little bit. So I'm going to be doing some sort of uh, faster arpeggios. Um, Fingers one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And that's pretty much it. Very, very straightforward, basic exercise. Um, but 
again, something that you you wouldn't really use unless you wanted uh, kind of a sort of nice epic beginning to a song. Um, not something that you would really uh, use a lot of the time, especially uh, as as a beginner. But it's a great one to to get your left hand because my my left hand is really really feeling the burn now, and uh, it's a great one just to warm that up. Um, so thank you very much. <laughs>